Well, May is typically Oklahoma's rainiest month. And that makes May Flood Awareness Month because of the severe flooding we can see at this time of the year. Since 1999, 12 Oklahomans have drowned while trying to get through flooded roads. The most recent was just last May and prior. New this evening, News on 6 anchor Tara Vreeland has more in a new effort to save lives. It's dry right now, but a year ago, this roadway was dangerously flooded. Every time we do have a major flood, this roadway will go underwater. And it cost one woman her life. 49-year-old Kimberlyn Kendrick was driving home from her parents' house on Elliott Street in Pryor. Just a half mile down the road, she went around a barrier. Kendrick lost control of her car in the water. The current caught the rear end of her car and pushed it around and actually pulled it into the ditch. And then when it got into the deeper, swifter water, it just pulled her out. Kendrick called 911, but by the time help arrived, her car was already completely underwater. Now in an effort to prevent another tragedy from happening here, Mays County installed gates. They're going to have to really work hard to get around the locking gates. And they hope these signs will make drivers think twice. Turn around, don't drown. The Oklahoma Floodplain Managers Association partnered with the National Weather Service are providing the signs to raise awareness about flooded roadways. Well, we're trying to save lives. Uh, as little as six inches of water can knock you off your feet, and as little as two feet will float most vehicles off the road. Prior Mayor Jimmy Trammell says he himself is guilty of misjudging a water's depth. I learned my lesson. Puckered up pretty good. A lesson Mays County hopes others won't have to learn the hard way. We hope that that's, that's not that important for it. Take a little bit more time. Turn around. Don't drown. Go around. Over 50 of the signs will be placed at hazardous low water crossings and roadways around the state. Prior Fire says they anticipate the gates will be closed about five times per flooding season. They say if drivers turn around when those gates are locked, only 10 extra minutes will be tacked onto their drive into town. Tara Vreeland, Vinny's on 6.